going to show you one of the first uh, features uh, for optical systems, and this is uh, a new macro. And the new macro here will assist you to easily set up in a very flexible manner a coherent WDM uh, transmission system. So previously in the macro, we had this uh, synthesized WDM link, which was for NRZ signal only. But now with this synthesized QAM WDM link, uh, you can create WDM channels, which can be dual polarization uh, QAM based, but you can also consider a uh, single channel transmission. Uh, we have integrated uh, a flexible digital signal processing unit, and on top we have added some information in each macro page about uh, parameter thresholds in order for you to do faster optimization. So essentially you go through several pages as you can see here, uh, page by page. So uh, you press next and then you can create uh, the final uh, schematic here will uh, automatically create it for you, this end-to-end -end transmission systems and together we'll run uh, the simulation results. So let me quickly demonstrate for you. So you will go to home read buttons in the macros and uh, it should be placed uh, here. So when I click on the first page, we have a typical description and uh, a schematic uh, diagram for WDM uh, channels. And note that at the receiver side, we can select one channel for demodulation. So we just simply press next, the next uh, macro page, and you can see we can change from QPSK format up to 64 QAM, uh, the baud rate, and the number of symbols and we put some indication what should be the minimum number in order to uh, first uh, get some reasonable results. Then we press next and we can set up the standard frequency channel spacing and which channel you want to receive and for example the number of quam channels. So let's say we have six. You press next now and you start setting up some basic uh, transmitter parameters uh, such as launch optical power, extinction ratio and so on, launch power, yes. Uh, the next one is about the transmission line. So we are based on uh, uh, circulating loop with the span length here. So three initially with 80 kilometers for, for instance. So you can set also OSNR and so on. And then at the receiver side, some line widths and uh, local oscillator offset. And then uh, we have some default parameters for the DSP unit, which should be able to work for all the selected uh, modulation formats. And we have this nice here uh, indications with blue letters where we give you some thresholds in order to further optimize. So you have also the option to run the simulation after the marker is finishing. So I press finish and now you can see uh, the end-to-end -end transmission link diagram is uh, automatically created for you in a new schematic. So the new schematic will be uh, untitled and then uh, the simulation is running also uh, at the same time. And uh, here also automatically you will have the description created for you as well. So let's see now the results. We can see here the six transmitted and received signals, the fourth uh, demodulated signal here, and the corresponding X and Y polarization uh, received constellation diagrams uh, together with the uh, uh, symbol error rate.